Good morning, Quiet Crypto 101 here. Before we get started, I got to get my shout outs out of the way. Today's shout outs goes to Graham Don Under and Pervang Shaw. Both of those were first to say first on one of my recent videos, and thus they win a shout out. So, congratulations to both of you. What do I have here today? This is something neat. This is the new MJX Bugs 3 H model, the H model with altitude hold. Uh, what's so special about it besides altitude hold? Well, the one that I got here comes with the 1080p remote controlled Wi-Fi FPV uh, 6000 camera okay <laughs> this is available the MJX Bucks 3H is available without a camera you can stick your own GoPro in here or it comes with the uh, 5000 720p camera and in my case I have the uh, 6000 1080p camera now again it is Wi-Fi FPV uh, it transmits Wi-Fi via 5.8 gigahertz FPV. So you are going to need a newer phone with five, uh, 802 point, not at 5.8 gigahertz, I'm sorry folks, 5G Wi-Fi, which means 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. You are going to need a phone with 802.11 AC Wi-Fi capability. Now again, not all phones have that capability, so before you consider purchasing this camera, either the 6000 or, or the 5000 or the 6000 series camera, Make sure that your phone is 802.11 AC Wi-Fi capable. Um, but if it's not, you can still purchase the Bugs 3H uh, without a camera. <laughs> and there you go. You can put your own GoPro in here because this can lift a GoPro. And it's designed to do such. So what else is special about this uh, quadcopter? Well, let's compare it to the original Bugs 3. Here, I got the Bugs 3 right here. Uh, they're similar in size similar kind of shape although the uh, Bugs 3H looks a little bit well it's got a different shell on top here and with the original Bugs 3 you could easily pop open the, the top canopy here to do any maintenance or or modifications if you want but in the case of this one you are going to need to have a Phillips screwdriver to get in there um, it doesn't pop open like this one was able to you know easily able to do um, additionally they've put four and one ESC's on board here uh, the original had individual ESC for each one of the motors uh, this one here is a four and one setup so uh, I don't know if that's a plus or a minus because uh, you know maintenance of a single ESC is usually pretty easy to do if ESC burns out in this one though uh, you are going to need to replace the entire four and one however it does have protection supposedly if one of these motors gets blocked um, that would have shut down the motor the power to the motors automatically uh, let's see here it uses the bugs go app uh, with that in mind you also get telemetry both viewed on your bugs go app and uh, I believe you still get telemetry beeps on the uh, transmitter uh, you as like the original bugs 3 you get a telemetry beep if you're getting out too far close to 300 meters it would tell you you're too far and you know turn around and come in and additionally if you your battery is getting low it also starts beeping and that tells you to land but I think you're also going to with the bugs go app you also get visual indications on your FPV screen uh, let's see the motors on this are MT 1806 1800kV motors they are the same motors as the original bugs 3 and with that in mind, the battery is the same. Uh, 1800 milliamp per hour, 7.4 volt battery as the original Bugs 3. So you'll be able to find replacement batteries for it. So that's it in a nutshell, folks. A Bugs 3 with the new capability of uh, altitude hold. And there's one other capability I forgot to mention real quick. And we'll mention that as we go over the transmitter. This is the transmitter for it. Uh, you can turn the lights on and off here. You arm the motors, getting them spinning by a quick press of this button here, and a long press to shut them off. Uh, you can turn the lights or low and high speed by pressing this button here. You can, well, this camera button here is for photos and videos. However, since we are using the Bugs Go app, it does not work to start and stop your photos and videos. I tried it. Um, you have to use the app to start and stop the videos. And it has two flight control modes. And this bottom one here is altitude hold. And believe it or not, it also has acro. Now, <laughs> acro I would use strictly for FPV flying, folks. Although, you know, some people might try to do acrobatics, line of sight flying with this, trying to do flips <laughs> and rolls. 
uh, with line of sight, but uh, I would be careful doing such because this one here is a plastic quadcopter, folks. And when you fly Acro line of sight, crashes are inevitable. <laughs> okay, you will be crashing. And I'm pretty sure that a single crash of this quadcopter would break, <laughs> break it. So <laughs> try not to do such, you know especially acro crashes if, if you flip upside down you're going to hit the ground hard and you're going to break it so i recommend trying to limit this to use the fpv and i'm going to probably do that in a future flight here attach a wi-fi fp or not a wi-fi fpv but a 5.8 gigahertz fpv all in one camera to it and demonstrate um flying it acro and it's strange that it's got acro because if you notice the throttle is centered <laughs> and that does not change oh yes it does change i'm sorry when you select advanced you know so it'll be centered when you're in uh, altitude hold and when it's in advanced mode you can bring it down okay that, <laughs> that takes care of that concern but let's put it back up again and the other buttons are trim buttons and on the back this button here no it's this button here <laughs> is for flips if you want to control if you want to do manual flips in altitude hold mode that's it let's go for flight this thing and see how it performs hope you enjoy this flight Forgot to mention, um, this records video directly to a micro SD card slot. Uh, I got my micro SD card in there, insert it right there, so that you don't get that Wi Fi lag that you'd normally see if you were record, rec recording directly to your phone. Okay, this is the Bugs Go app here, and if you notice on the top here, we have selections. The far left one that shows the scenery is the access, you can access the files on the micro SD card. Uh, we do have 3D view mode. If you want to use this with goggles, you can use this and fly the quadcopter with goggles by pressing 3D view. Um, you can do, uh, you can flip the screen upside down if the screen is inverted on your particular phone. I am not going to do that. You can, by hitting that eyeball, you can close and open the uh, uh, view or the menu bar on top. We're going to leave the menu bar on. Hitting uh, the gear icon, the settings icon, we have parameter settings of max flight altitude of 150 meters. Um, I think you can turn that off and you can go as high as you want, but we are going to limit it to uh, 100 meters because I want to stay actually back, back. We're going to limit it to 120 meters, and that leaves us keeps us below the 400 feet uh, FAA restrictions. So I'm going to leave that in there. Submit the modified data, yes, and then it'll tell the quadcopter's barometer don't go above 120 meters from takeoff height and on the, to the we see that we're connected aircraft connected and then we got altitude uh, uh, information there and that we got the battery power of the quadcopter and the battery power of the transmitter I don't think that's correct because I know I got a full batteries in there and we were running on trans flying via the transmitter and Wi-Fi connections the next one there and uh, back button goes back to the main screen of this app. So we're going to select video mode and start the video camera. Video camera is recording, TF002. And then I do a quick press of the uh, red button here, and that should start up the motors. Or is it a long press? Okay, my transmitter was not connected to the quadcopter. It wasn't bound. Uh, I guess for the first time you bind this, what you do is you press this red lock button down while simultaneously turning on the transmitter, and then you plug in the quadcopter, and then it will bind. And it should remember that bind for the future. Now, if we look back on the screen again in the upper uh, right-hand corner, we see now that we have battery power showing of the transmitter. So we are good to go. And I'm recording... And uh, that's, that's about it. So let's hit the this button here, the red button, unlock button, to start up the motors. And let's take to the air. And let's check out its altitude hold. Let's go forward a bit in the wind. That's an altitude hold. It seems to be climbing a bit. <laughs> okay, how about uh, if I bring it back down? It seems to keep going up. Let's bring it over a closer again. Bring it up close. Set the altitude hold right about there. And that time it's holding its position. Okay, what I want to do first before we do anything here, make sure we're recording. Bring it over closer to me. Bring it up to me. 
and say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? So, okay, we are good to go. So let's go out and see how this FPV is working. Out over the desert. Okay. Plop it right about there. We are about 100 meters away. Right about there. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see it out at these greater distances. Keeping in mind that this is not a, <laughs> a uh, what do you call it, GPS quadcopter. Now its altitude seems to be increasing. Look at that. I'm seeing the numbers on there going 16 meters, 18 meters. It's climbing. And I'm not doing anything. So <laughs> um, it kind of wants to climb. So keep that in mind. Lowering the throttle. And let's go upwind a bit. The wind is coming from that direction, obviously. Let me make sure. Yeah. Is that going to come back my way? Yeah. So you always want to fly upwind when you're going to fly distant. So let's go distant with this and see how well this FPV is working. I am out there 150 meters. If I can make it to that... Uh, uh, why there? That's 200 meters away. I know that. Okay, so I'm at about 200 meters and I lost FPV. Let's see if I can go up higher and regain FPV. I got FPV again. Let's go forward a bit. And how's my Wi-Fi signal? Wi-Fi signal still looks good. Control. I'm not hearing any beeping. That over there, that, oops, right there. Plopping it up, going high, aircraft not connected. So I've lost FPV reception. Let's see if we can get back again. So I, I'm about 250 meters away, folks. Let's see if I can turn it back toward me. Okay, I got excellent range. You're coming back toward me, pitching forward. I'm hearing beeping. That's warning me uh, that my signal from the transmitter is, is weak but you know what's cool about this folks keeping in mind that the original bugs 3 did not have altitude hold it if you lost reception from the transmitter you know um, the thing is probably going to drop like a rock although I've never done that I've never flown out to where it would lose reception let's bring it in closer but uh, this weird little gyrations there but um, since this has altitude hold it, it's unlikely I don't think it would drop like a rock if it lost reception so well let's record hit the record button stop that recording restart it as it flies over my head and go out again all right before we go out never mind going out what I want to demonstrate is its flyability Okay, in altitude hold. We are in low rate. Let's go to higher rate. High rate. How's it doing high rate? Oh, it flies good. It's a good flyer. There, did a roll. <laughs> let's, let's do a roll the other way. Cool. It's a cool flyer. I like the bugs. How about let's do a forward flip this time? Forward flip. Ha <laughs> ha! So even though it's got altitude hold, it's not too shabby a flyer. Let's take it up high now. Get a view of the area. Gonna go up wind too. We'll go up, how high are we? 37 meters up. 37, 56. Okay, let's rotate from up there. Here's our mouth ends. Looking around. Rotating. Why does it say we're 30, 73 meters? Coming back down because I'm losing uh, 
FPV reception up there. So coming back down from up there. This is a nice one, folks. As to be expected from MGX. They, they put out nice stuff. I got to admit, really nice stuff. The only thing is, you know, that uh, altitude hole. Let's bring that in again. Show it up close. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's by the uh, sticks on my transmitter. Maybe they need to be adjusted. But every once at the beginning there, it was climbing. It's not doing it now. It's holding its altitude pretty well right now. But in the beginning there, it wasn't. Well, here comes a wind. A little bit of a breeze. Well, it's, it's not doing that now. So I guess maybe that was just variation caused by the wind. But uh, my recording still. Yeah, let's stop that recording to make sure I got it. Start it again. One more recording. And how much battery power do we got left? Oh, we got tons of battery power left. So let's use it. Let's go higher again. And go up on. So this easily gets out to about 250 meters. Going up high, climbs like a banshee. <laughs> Flies like a banshee. 4 rolls. Coming back down cuz you're not you can't see those rolls from up there. So we'll come down. Nice quadcopter, as all the MGXs are. Still has plenty of power on it. I've been flying for a good time here. You know, it's, I'd say six minutes, seven minutes, something like that. <laughs> Very very maneuverable, even with altitude old. See? Well done, MGX. Well done. Okay. That's my battery. That's my battery. Time to land it. Let's bring you over to the pad and land you. Where's my pad? coming this way see you got nice battery warning I like that's what I liked about the original MGX and this one here tells you it's time to land time to come home and stopping the video and the video has been stopped so let's unplug it before I lift it up and turning this off so that's the MJX Bugs 3H. <laughs> Very nice altitude hold quadcopter, altitude hold version of this. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is quadcopter 101. I'll hold it up for a thumbnail like that. Quadcopter 101 signing out.